Happy spring, everybody. Look at my queen's wreath. We have flowers popping everywhere, all through our yard, all through our garden. Spring definitely came earlier this year and it's actually getting hotter than usual. Um, so I might have to pick a few things that I'm used to not picking as, as early as I'd like, but I left everything in the garden to kind of show you what I'll be doing. Maybe it can be helpful to you. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you all the seeds I've started, the seeds I plan on starting, um, and kind of just show you what's going on through the garden. Um, I've been using a lot of food and some recipes, and I'm cur curious to know, do you guys want to see some of the recipes I'm using, um, some of the vegetables and food from our farm? Um, if that's something that interests you, I just really need some fuel to make some new videos for you guys. Um, I know you guys like our, my garden tours but um, I'm definitely scaling back a little bit in the garden if you can if you've noticed um, I decided to homeschool my children this year and uh, that's taken up a lot of time but I know it's it's for the best for our family and I have control over what they learn and uh, spending more time with them as well so I'm gonna pop right into um, my Vago garden beds if you haven't looked into those I would definitely suggest looking into them. They have a 20% off sale. I have my affiliate link in the description below. Um, I started with one and I loved it so much that I ended up purchasing a second one and I kept some room here for a third. Um, so maybe in the future you'll see a third one there. Um, over here, I actually plugged in some celery. Um, these are actually celery I brought from the store. I like to juice celery every so often. There's so many health benefits to it. Um, but I just saved the center core and stuck them in the ground. I've done this before, was kind of successful, but just wanted to try it in these raised beds. So I did that. Um, I've been saving flowers from our cranberry hibiscus, which is going crazy. We'll be making some tea and lemonade with that. Um, I have our um, African blue basil right here. And if you don't have this in your garden, I definitely suggest it. It's such an amazing pollinator. I've been propagating it like mad to actually put throughout our yard and add into our food forest. Um, that's another video I want to show you soon is our food forest is just flowering everywhere. So hopefully we'll have a ton of fruit coming in. We have all kinds of mulberries um, coming up, but I'm not sure if we'll get to that video anytime soon. But I, I do post pictures of kind of what's happening throughout the whole farm on my Instagram. So you can check that out. It's Southern Dirt Gardener. But this just gives off so many wonderful flowers. Really easy to propagate. Over here I have what's called an aquana spinach and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong again. But it is actually just taken over this garden. So I trimmed it back for the second time. Um, and I'm thinking actually pulling this out and transplanting it. These are very easy to propagate. I do have another plant over there in the edge of the garden. Um, but this will just allow more space. We just don't eat enough of it um, and it just can grow wild. Um, over here we have some broccoli that's coming in. Really excited about those. This is a kale plant that I actually planted last year and it is doing fabulous. It's actually turning into a tree. I started to stake it off over here and this is a comfrey plant. This is actually, um, I had a friend that gave me some cuttings and it's finally taking off. It's just absolutely beautiful. And again, this one's kind of overtaking this bed. I might just transfer it over here um, in my other garden, but you can actually use this plant as fertilizer. So I'm excited to learn a little bit more about that. And if anybody has um, some information on that, because I haven't yet researched, definitely uh, I've done an expert so, and I don't know everything, so send me some information on that if you know about it. Got some more broccoli plants over here and look at those peppers. <laughs> they are doing so good. This pepper plant's actually from last fall. It's probably one of the few that survived because it was in the shade. Um, I was able to cover these and that's doing good. Recently I planted some turmeric right here. I grew that last year and I've been meaning to put a video together because I actually harvested some turmeric here. Um, just recently before the freeze and got a ton of turmeric. You probably have seen it in some of my Instagram reels um, and videos. 
then I also planted some ginger and this is gonna be a first for me but you can kind of see I already have some little sprouts coming up so that should be fun and I also planted some garlic one of my subscribers suggested you should grow some garlic and um, I don't know it doesn't look very healthy I think it's this beds just too wet for it but I did have some garlic sprouting in the refrigerator and decided to plant it so we'll see what that does in the next video and I'm really excited to show you guys my butterfly pea vine we got our first flowers right here they're so beautiful and you can actually make uh, tea with these and um, we have we were gifted uh, some flowers uh, not too long ago to make some butterfly tea and it was so cool to make so whenever we get enough I will show you how we make that as well so this vine is finally taken off over here is our green stock garden and here's another favorite planter of mine I absolutely love them I have three and look at how beautiful this is you can pretty much grow anything in a green stock garden vertically and I have 30 plants in here and harvest so much food off of them look at those green beans I've got tomatoes this is actually my uh, I will soon be harvesting my second harvest off of these look at how many tomatoes are growing on these I think next year or next season I'm gonna start those on the bottom and put a little plant support on them which they do sell um, but look at these it's been doing so good I've got all kinds of herbs peppers flowers I even have lavender which I've never been successful with but it's doing absolutely beautiful in here I've got some kale and I have some carrots in here too that are hiding down there look at these beans it's I need to go ahead and start picking some of this but you can really grow a small manageable garden in the green stock and if you haven't looked into those, you can save $10 off your order with promo code SD10. And um, usually they have sales from time, for time to time, so make sure you are following me on Instagram so you can find out when those run. Over here, my to tomato plants have done fabulous this year. And I think mostly because of the type of fertilizer and lack of rain because the leaves aren't getting wet. Um, but I am harvesting at least seven tomatoes or more off this plant a day. And I've gotten so many tomatoes, I'm putting them in freezer bags and freezing them. And last night I made my first ever, every ingredient from the garden tomato soup. And it was absolutely amazing. My kids even liked it. I didn't even tell them what it was. They're like, oh, it looks like spaghetti sauce, mom. And we made noodles. I put it next to their noodles and they all, were so excited about it. So that just made my heart happy. That is actually why I garden is I was looking for a way to feed my family uh, affordable and healthy and um, to kind of get the family involved in getting outside. It's just such a beautiful thing to watch your family come out and pick food and just see the return of your hard work in the kitchen. So I also have some collard greens here. I have some carrots that have popped up. If you go back to my other videos, I couldn't remember if I planted carrots, but I did. And the good thing is, is after we harvested all of our first planting of lettuce, it allowed those to come up. I have a uh, dahlia here. Um, it's a purple one. They're about to bloom. I had a few here, I just need to cut that off. But here is a uh, my second planting of lettuce. And if y'all haven't seen my real of harvesting from my raised bed garden go and check that out i think it's probably the last couple reels i uploaded but me and my youngest daughter harvested a ton of food from it and i show you all it all in baskets so you can really just grow a ton of food out of these vago garden beds i also have some beets in here oh that one's looking nice I have some kale that's popped up back here. I also had some cilantro between my tomato plants before they went wild. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is have to stake these off better next year. These are called Moneymaker Tomatoes. And 
Next year, I plan to grow mainly these and Everglades tomatoes. I just started saving the seeds from these because I just love them so much. They're giving me such a huge harvest and they just work well for our area. So over here, we have our other green stock garden. Here is some rosemary that I propagated from my main plant, my mother plant and first garden that I have over here. I started with an herb garden. So right here, I'm actually in the mix of of uh, getting ready to plant all these empty spots here. Uh, before this, I had some lettuce and I've been harvesting a plenty of that through the winter. Got a pepper plant in here. Got some banana peppers that are doing really great. Some basil that I propagated. I've got an eggplant. And another one over here. So over here is our strawberry green stock garden. And we have been picking tons of strawberries off these. My kids actually just picked some this morning. I'll show you a little clip of that here in a minute. But this is the absolute best way to grow strawberries. You don't have to worry about the strawberries sitting in the dirt, um, all kinds of bugs crawling on them. This has just been the perfect ideal strawberry tower garden. And you can find my affiliate link in the description below with the promo code SD10. Now I'm gonna show you what I got going on in more kitchen. So over here is my click and grow indoor garden. We have nice LED lights that are on for 12 hours, which makes these grow super fast. Um, this is a lot of fun. It's absolutely beautiful, easy to grow. All you have to do is fill the reservoir with water and you just leave it and let it do its thing. Um, this has been really fun for the kids to watch. I highly recommend this. Uh, this is my third planting and I usually stick with lettuce. That is typically done the best. So this is actually the arugula, green sorrel and romaine mix. Um, they actually just started, let me show you this. They got some new pods that allows the roots to hang down. See that? And right now I actually have an exclusive discount code that you can use and I will put that in the description below. You can save 20%. It's SD Spring 20. So here is my click and grow indoor garden. I've been enjoying this. Right now I've got a mixture of salad. I've got some arugula, green sorrel, and some romaine lettuce. This has an LED light that shines for 12 hours, which allows these beautiful plants to grow faster. All I literally do is pour water in the reservoir and forget it. Everything needed to grow these plants are already in these little pods. And I just purchased some pods right here. There are the new pods where it allows your roots, if you can see that, to kind of dangle down and a little wick that wicks up the water. So it can kind of give you more room for those roots to grow, to grow bigger plants and healthier plants. So this has been really fun. I'm going to show you a picture after this of what it looks like lit up. And um, it actually just lights up this whole room in the evening. And um, right now I actually have an exclusive discount code you can use, which is SD Spring 20 to save 20% off your order. They actually have bigger gardens than this. And um, I definitely recommend it, especially for your for a starter garden or something to look nice in the house, especially if you're in the colder weather and you don't want to garden outside or super hot weather. This is ideal um, to have a little kitchen garden. So now we are heading into the other garden. Um, I just started building a trellis here. My husband uh, bought a trailer uh, from a gentleman that actually had a nursery. And the guy just wanted to get rid of all the stuff on the trailer, which included a ton of bamboo sticks. And I was so grateful when he came home with all these pots and bamboo sticks. So I've kind of been experimenting with um, building trellises. I've got another one over here that I started. And um, I think what I'm gonna do is just put a few stacked this way um, to let this spaghetti squash grow up. And look at how healthy this is. So it's already kind of ready to start vining. And instead of allowing these to take up a ton of space, I'm just gonna allow them to grow vertically. And you can pretty much do that with any vining plant. Um, I started some sunflowers down here, which are super small. I'm having a trouble starting some of my um, seeds that mice like because they keep getting into my little pots and digging them out. So 
Um, I think I need to do some pest management here soon. Over here, I have some Everglades tomatoes and the Cardinals have found these recently. As soon as they started to turn red, I had about seven Cardinals in the garden, just picking away at them. But at least it was neat to just see a bunch of beautiful birds in the garden. Uh, thankfully, they left alone my blueberries. <laughs> so as long as they're not eating my blueberries, I'll plant more uh, tomato plants. Um, I've got some onions in the ground over here. I can't remember what this is called. I think it's bachelor button. I have a tag somewhere, but these have been fun. These little purple bluish flowers. I've got some mammoth sunflower. It's growing here. Got another one here. Uh, little zinnia just kind of popped up there. Um, I do sell mammoth sunflower seeds on my website. And I've got another uh, Everglades tomato. These tomatoes do really well in the heat of the summer. Um, so these will actually produce the best um, through the summer and actually survive. Unlike most of my tomato plants will likely die. These will just keep giving off so much food. And actually these made it through the, the um, freeze that we had this winter. Over here we've got our blueberry plants. If you can see, I don't know if you can see those, but I was really worried about our blueberry plants. They looked like they were all dying after the frost. And um, I kind of just let them be. And thankfully they just started shooting off so many blooms. Look at this one. And now we have fruit everywhere. Um, and my little faux fence, I'm not sure what you would call it, but I just basically put stakes in the ground and ran um, fishing wire across here. So at least I have some kind of um, blockage towards the deer. I had a young deer jumping my fence. Didn't do a ton of damage, but it was just annoying. So I didn't want to put a high fence up, but that has been working good and it's really not um, hard on the eye compared to a big, expensive, tall fence. So um, if you haven't done that, definitely suggest doing that. Over here, I have my Brussels sprouts. I thought they were collard greens. Um, I didn't think my Brussels sprouts made it and the tag obviously got removed, but these are Brussels sprouts. They are growing big, but um, the Brussels sprouts themselves aren't. So if you guys have any tips for me on Brussels sprouts, let me know because I've cut the tops off before, I've removed the leaves from the bottom, and just really I've never had much success with them. But I do love Brussels sprouts, so um, the leaves kind of taste like Brussels sprouts, so we can definitely use those. Over here I have my dinosaur kale, which is doing great. My kids love making kale chips with these, we can put them in our salads. This is actually a blue dazzling kale. I just love the color of this, just a little bit of purple, bluish green. Um, and this is a call it random color green. All the products I use and love will be in this description box below. Um, I love sharing the products that I actually know work. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. That's huge. <laughs> and we just harvested some leaves off these. These are collard greens. Anyways, um, I really depend on keeping this channel growing by my sales from my affiliate links and products I use. So thank you guys if you have bought anything um, through my links that really helps the channel and keeps me continuing what I do for you guys. Over here we have some, let's see, white bush scallop um, squash. I planted some of these mm, early in the fall. We had some really cold weather, it didn't do good, but I got quite a bit of squash off them and they were just cute. There's there's really neat little, almost like pumpkin squash, like an acorn squash almost. But I thought I'd try some for the spring. Got some onions here. Over here, I have some onions that are doing really good. Check this guy out. I actually just harvested some last night. My first one, which was right there, my daughter helped me harvest. Um, for some tomato soup, which was amazing. Over here, my beets have been struggling. I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pull these because what's happening with as hot as it's been, 
these leaves are just kind of laying down they're getting dry and now they're getting crunchy so i think what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and um, harvest them i've kind of been coming behind oh look at that one i've been coming behind them in the afternoon and just kind of watering them because they look like they're struggling a little bit extra um, but i think what we'll do is just go ahead and pull those guys up i've been harvesting a ton of cabbage and this is what's left of the cabbage. This one's kind of looking a little rough here. I'm just gonna peel back that yucky leaf there. And I might just leave these guys in the ground. This one, I might need a harvest. It's just kind of looking a little scary there. Um, but most likely I'll harvest these. Carrots, we've been harvesting as needed for different recipes. And recently, by family going by um, I recently planted some yard beans so look at these guys and if you've never planted yard beans they're really fun they're like these long green beans or string beans and they grow really tall so what I thought I'd do is just kind of add some extra trellising to what I already have here this old um, railing and try yard beans again the kids have a lot of fun coming out here and just seeing how long they are or how long they can grow. And it's like a competition. Who can pick the longest bean? Um, you can eat them raw. Our kids will eat them raw. And um, it's just a really easy way to uh, process beans because it's such a long bean. You can get, you know, three to four beans out of picking one bean versus picking four beans. So that is always fun. And then what I'll do is plant a second planting, maybe in like two weeks behind it, this. So I've done one planting this way and then I'll do a second planting so we don't have everything coming in at once. And I forgot to mention, here's my other comfrey plant. Probably what I'm gonna do is put the other comfrey plant over on the end here so it kind of matches. Um, I've got another dahlia and I wish, the, <laughs> I wish I had a flower to show you, but I do have a ton of blooms. Uh, I have been posting them on my social media. So those have been really fun to grow. Now over here, there's some more lilies. I just love these lilies. One day I'll tell you a story on these lilies. <laughs> it's actually the first plant I ever owned. And um, I've had them for this actual same lily for over 10 years, even before I was gardening. But that'll be another day. So over here, I have went ahead and pulled back my mulch from the rows to get ready to sprinkle some seeds. I'll show you here in a little bit um, of what we're gonna be planting. But this garden I've kind of let be, and you haven't seen a ton in it because of the way the sun has lined up. Now that the sun is touching this garden a little bit more and will this summer, I'm a little more confident to plant some more things over here. I've got some collard greens over here. I got some major weeds I gotta pull. I have a um, foxglove here that has yet to bloom. Maybe it will bloom sometime. This is a second year and the day it blooms I'll be really excited because I've waited forever for it. <laughs> wow, these strawberries, well not strawberries, blueberries. Look at that. They're just looking so healthy. And over here some more, more collard greens, some onions I kind of randomly plugged in. This is a kale plant from like two years ago that's still surviving. I've got some flowers here. Here are our morning glories. They are really pretty. I did not know they vined. Not that that's a problem, but that would have been really cool to grow along a fence. And um, vines are pretty long. I have some more down here along with some radishes that are beyond uh, harvesting time. And I think I've covered most of the garden. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the seeds that I've started over here. All right, here we have some dwarf uh, curled baits and some red cabbage and some purple blue curled kale. These were the seeds I started that the mice got into and just jumbled them up. Um, and this is what's left. Now over here, I have these cool little uh, burpee trays that I really have enjoyed. And I just started some parsley, dill, um, some chamomile, 
and some sweet banana peppers. And I'm sorry to share, but I really thought that I could keep the mice out of these, but they actually dug a hole in the bottom. Where is it? Yep, right there. Right, yep, right there. What I was doing is putting the tops on these, thinking that was gonna keep the mice out. And unfortunately they crawled under here. I should have known better and bit through the rubber. So I'm gonna just keep bringing my seeds inside. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, I always share that you want to start your seeds inside, um, but, but then bring them outside as soon as they sprout, uh, just in case you have squirrels, birds, mice. Um, so we definitely have a problem there, but it got in here and ate my mammoth sunflowers. I think everything else is, should be fine. I've got some, I started some more um, musk melon, some, what is this? Oh! these I wanted to start some Dollar General seeds because um, they're so cheap these are um, a little uh, like a sugar melon so those I started there you can see my remnants of my sunflower seeds <laughs> I'll have to start again then I've got some okra I vowed to never plant okra again I love okra but um, I had problems with nematodes and I still do but just really bad nematodes coming into the garden um, with okra and uh, I think I'm just gonna put these in potted plants down in my backyard garden my girls garden they just recently pulled a ton of weeds and all their carrots pretty much everything from the garden except for their bachelor button I think that's what the years are called we really thought this was a weed but we weren't sure that's another thing starting seeds flower seeds is just waiting to figure out which what is a weed and what's a flower it's pretty easy to see when you are planting um, vegetable seeds but that has been fun we also have some butterfly weed growing here and our milkweed plant is starting to bloom we also planted some um, Kentucky pole beans along this fence line then we're gonna sprinkle in um, some flower mix here. I'll show you, I've got them inside. So I'm really excited to show you guys these. These are called Mountain Valley Seed Save the Monarchs. This seed packet has over a thousand uh, seeds, different varieties that will help um, the monarch butterflies bring them to your garden and lay their eggs and create more monarch butterflies. So I'm really excited about this. Um, my kids wanted to do a butterfly garden, so they'll be planting some of this in their garden, and I think I'm going to plant them in mine. So these are all from True Leaf Market. I will leave the um, information in the description below. Um, my affiliate, affiliate link will be there. Um, I also wanted to try out the bug out seed bag. These are like a survival garden. You can buy them and store them for a really long time, and it includes a little 80 page vegetable grow guide which i did read and um, these last in this bag for five to seven years so i liked that um, just having that extra storage there was a seed shortage um, it kind of still is um, you know during covid so this is a really nice pack it has everything you really could uh, need for growing a garden so just to kind of show you some of the seeds that are in here um, these were some that i'm going to actually start We've got some, um, some zucchini squash, some cantaloupe, um, sugar baby watermelons, and sugar snap peas. I think it's a little late for those, but um, they pretty much, after going through this bag, I felt like this has everything you need to do a gar start a garden with. Um, this has all your basics. So that was a really cool packet that I wanted to share with you. Um, Last season we did this wildflower bird and butterfly mixture along with the sunny meadow mixture. Kids had fun growing those, so we might throw those in there as well. Um, yep, bachelor buttons I started already. And here's some zinnias I saved um, from the years past. This is actually from my favorite color of a zinnia that popped up. We'll be planting those. I've never planted uh, Cosmo seashells. Um, this is actually a free seed packet from Baker Creek Seed. Everyone always asks me, what is your favorite seed company? I really um, don't, I'm not exclusive to any seed companies. Um, I just kind of like seeing what's available. 
Um, I do like Baker Creek seeds because they do have a ton of options available from all over the world. Um, it's kind of your one-stop shop along with True Leaf Market. They have all kinds of things, um, seeds and seed packets along with um, all kinds of different growing supplies. Um, here's the blanket flower. I may have called that wrong, but that's what was in my daughter's garden. And uh, some more seeds that were free. Oh, all these have been for free seeds. But um, that's another cool thing with um, Baker Creek is they'll send you a free packet when you order. Um, the, this is bee balm, I believe. And I've never planted echinacea or bee balm um, or cow mill or dill. Uh, so all those things we can use in teas and I've been wanting to learn more about making my own teas. And here's some zinnias that we've saved over the years and some, oh gosh, what are these? I'll put it in the box. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen, but um, they're really good about keeping pests away. And I love this garden marker um, for tags, but I think I have gone over everything I plan on planting and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please let me know what you liked best about this video, any videos that you want to see in the future. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and I love learning from you. So please, if you have any advice, send it my way. See you guys next time.